Hello, my name is Bali. I'm an IT consultant providing services to small local businesses. Today, I want to share a very important strategy on how to build an effective business website. In current competitive market, it is very important that your website, be the free one or created by a professional designer, properly represents your business and also becomes a marketing tool to help you get new customers. Allow me to outline some of the most important aspects your website absolutely must have in order to give you the edge over your competition. Your website must have... Hello? May I help you? Hey man, I need a website. My business could use some more new customers. Okay, well, I was about to describe how to get one done properly, so it could get you what you need. A website that will truly perform for your business. Can I listen in? Sure. So going back to our website. In order for it to work for your business, it needs to do the following. Be optimized in order to be found in search engines. Provide a product or solution your customers are searching for. Convert visitors into customers. And provide social interaction in order to take advantage of social media. Wow, man. Isn't it enough to just have a website? I thought that all I had to do is put one up and I'm all set. Well... It's a common mistake, but think about it. If your website is not done correctly and search engines can't figure out what it has to offer, how do you think they will know which visitors to send your way? Hmm, makes sense. So, you are saying not all websites will be found in search engines, even if they are created by a professional designer? Exactly. The designers are too often concentrating on visual aspects of your site or its functionality. But very few of them actually pay attention to how easily it is understood by search engines. After all, that's where a lot of your website visitors will be looking for your site or services. Interesting. But that's not all. Social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter are extremely important for your website. In fact, more people visit those two sites alone than they do the search engines. And unless your business has a solid presence there, they may never find you. You kidding me, right? You mean my site will not be seen there? I thought it's all the same internet. Not quite. You actually have to create a separate presence there and do it correctly. Your site must also give your visitors an ability to interact using the familiar social media interface in order for you to reach a lot more potential clients. Haven't you noticed that all the recent ads include an invite to connect with that business on Facebook or Twitter? Yeah, I was wondering what was that all about. Now I think I understand. They want people to follow them on those networks and share with their friends. Word of mouth marketing, right? You are getting it. That is exactly the point. As people join your business on those networks, they also share with their friends and generate free traffic to your site. So, now let me ask you a question. Sure, go right ahead. You gave me something to think about already, and I'll be glad to help you out. Assuming you took my advice, and now getting a lot more traffic to your site. What are you going to do about turning your visitors into customers? Oh, that's easy. I'll just put my phone number up and tell them to call me. Great idea. And it surely must be on your site. But tell me, how many people do you think will actually call you? How would I know? I'm sure some will. Yes, some surely will. But the beauty of the internet is its ability to provide you with exact numbers. And what's even more, most common statistics show that over 75% of the people who come to your site will instantly click away. So, just to recap it, only about 25% will stay, and only a few of those will ever call. And on top of that, you can't even tell how many. Well, now that you put it that way, it doesn't sound like my website is working at all. Exactly. You have to have a website that converts visitors into customers, and does it in a way that allows you to easily track results. Wouldn't it be nice if you knew how many visitors become customers, and be able to send them promotion and offers whenever you choose to. Yeah, that would be nice. If I could send my promotion to repeat customers, I could probably cut down on my other advertising expenses. You're getting it. In fact, it's quite simple to do, and it's called email marketing. But this topic is quite extensive, and I will cover it tomorrow. Man, you're a gold mine. Can I join you tomorrow? Sure. We'll be glad to share with you what I know. Thanks. You got me thinking now. But where can I learn more about it? Just visit localwebhub.com. We we'll provide a lot more info like this at no cost to you. Great. Well, I gotta go, but I'll see you here tomorrow. Thanks, James. And if you would like to learn more about converting your small business website visitors into customers and reducing your marketing ROI, join me tomorrow, and I will discuss it in details.